Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg and in this video I wanna talk about Comprehensive Abacus Packet Chapter 5 Meshing and Partitioning in Abacus Preview How to ask your video related questions Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below We will try to answer all questions regarding the video details in the comments below New Abacus users who want to develop their modeling skills faster in their projects can request user-oriented online and offline services. Subsequently, we offer a step-by-step -step guidance, tutoring, and consultancy regarding their problems. The online service includes online sessions and the offline service includes creating special tutorials. In addition, a combination of the two can be requested. Before watching the preview of each chapter, the table of content will be illustrated. This is the table of content for chapter 5. Yes. Uh, why does the transition zone have a tet mesh rather than... No, it's not tet mesh. It is wedge mesh. Wedge. It is wedge element. Uh, 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 this is a good question. Um, I couldn't mesh it using hex elements. Okay. When I wanted to mesh it using hex element, I failed. Okay. In the past time. In the past time. Uh, so I used wedge elements. I use wedge elements and here you can see that I can. For example, uh, let me, I create a copy from it and try again okay rbs1 and try it again um, hex redefine sweep path accept accept no Uh, no, I can. <laughs> That's it. Now I can. It's the answer to your question. I don't know why in the in the past time I couldn't, but now I can. Um, yes. Mm, this is the. Uh, what? Yes, please ask Sina. Uh, okay, uh, I have two questions. First one is, uh, I didn't get what is the redefined sweep pass. Uh -huh. why, why we should use that? Okay, okay, okay. Let me, I... Mm. Uh, let me I talk about the sweep technique sweep Suppose that we have this manifold This is a manifold uh, let's see. For example in the internal combustion engine we have manifold we have manifolds a uh, sweep technique can mesh this geometry okay and what is the meaning of sweep sweep technique meshes this area by 2d element and then it sweeps uh, it sweeps uh, this mesh along uh, these lines and then it reaches this one and by using this concept, 3D elements will be created along this uh, volume, 
okay, along this cell. This is the concept of the uh, sweep technique. Sweep means this. And uh, this is the sweep path. This is the sweep path, okay? This is the sweep path. And here, uh, first of all, um, we have this mesh, for example. This is a 2D mesh. First, Abacus creates this 2D mesh and then it sweeps it uh, along, uh, sweeps it along this path and we have the 3D mesh. And this is very important. The sweep path is very important uh, in some cases to create the pattern. If I don't change the sweep path in this region, I will not get this uh, pattern. This is uh, the answer to your question. Um, the pattern, uh, uh, in fact, Abacus first must mesh this area and then sweeps it along this path. If it mesh, uh, it, if it meshes this area and then sweeps it, our pattern doesn't happen. Our pattern, because because uh, because the reduction of number of elements happens on this face okay not in this face because of this i must change the sweep path you can try it okay, i get it yes what is I your get it. Uh, if i remember correct uh, yesterday you said in the sweep we need four elements in the thickness ah no 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 i didn't say this okay. for the sweep i said that if you have bending if you have bending uh -huh. in the bending uh, if you if you want to capture bending with solid elements in the thickness direction, you must have three or four elements. Ah, okay. Yes, I said this. And uh, uh, here I said uh, for for uh, in the thickness of the web, okay, we must have two elements uh, here. We must we must have. But here I'm only uh, telling you pattern. Okay, this is only for. Uh, uh, practicing the tools, not uh, for getting good results. It is for only practicing the tools. Uh, and I have done this. Now I go to the to the other example. Uh, if you see the video of class several times, okay, uh, you will understand it. It is not hard. Okay, don't worry. Uh, the only thing that you need is only practice. Okay, you must practice. English people say pra practice makes perfect. Okay, only practice. I myself. I'm working with Abacus since 2012, okay, since 2012, and, uh, okay, now I use this tool, select the cells to partition, uh, no, Select edges. Uh, this edge. Uh huh. Another time. Select edges. This edge. Well done. Another time. This edge. Yes, what is your question? Someone asked the question. No? No? I had a question. Yes, what is your question? Yeah, would it be better if we uh, model a quarter part of... Uh, uh -huh, you want to have four of it? 
Yeah, and after that, rotate it. Yes, uh, then you must tie them. Then you must tie them to each other. Okay? Yes, yes. You can do it, but I'm giving you the best way. Okay? I'm giving you the best way. And uh, what you what you said is also correct. Yes. But uh, here, uh, this is the best way. And... Uh, Very good. See? And... Ah, very good. Even I set it to 0 0.1. Very good. This is one fourth. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and um, as you can see, they are the same. And uh, uh, in 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 my uh, abacus for industry course I will use this tool uh, to partition some pipes and some pressure vessels and to define crack on them and to do uh, and for doing crack analysis for example to calculate a stress intensity factors and others uh, like this uh, and uh, what I told you is a very complex strategy but it's very powerful. It's very powerful. Okay. And yes, that's it. Uh, do you have any question? You must uh, see the video again and again. Okay. Um, I know it's a little complex, but don't worry. Um, every um, by practicing every complex thing uh, can be very simple for you. Uh, and uh, for example, Two years ago, I couldn't do some partitionings, but now I can, okay? This is because uh, that I'm practicing every day. And uh, every student that uh, comes to me uh, for that project, maybe I learn um, new things. And also in my courses, I uh, give these explanations if needed. Um, do you have any questions? Okay, so uh, here, let me I save it. Uh, what I did uh, is not in the slides, okay? It's not in the slides. How to purchase packages or individual chapters. Each of the packages and individual chapters includes CAE, JNL, and IMP files, step-by-step -step tutorials with detailed explanations and investigation of the results, slides and reference papers, and standards. Packages, specifications, and payment details are provided in the video description. Also, you can pay the cost of the packages in two, three, or four installments according to your budget or income. In the future, updates will be provided for free for everybody who purchases each chapter or each package. The cost of each chapter or package will increase after each update for new buyers. But those who purchase the package would have endless access to all the upcoming updates. This will make the content up to date for new needs and new problems which must be solved via FE simulation. You can contact us using Telegram or WhatsApp or you can send email to us. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk WhatsApp and we can make special tutorials to your order. We can conduct high-quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Also, we offer support in writing the modeling and result discussion part of your thesis, 
and we have consulting services for MSc PhD positions or job interviews and we can tell you how to prepare the presentation of your simulation works. Now I want to suggest you several related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.